This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Make your purchases through my personal link in the description to help out the channel. Furthermore, if you want to support me more directly, you can check out my YouTube channel membership for fun emojis and sneak peeks, or my Patreon. Links in the description. What is this, you ask? Another Cad Bane video? Well, yes, it is. But I am actually quite excited because this is a soft goods um, coat for Cad Bane here, which is meant to replace this one. And I found it on eBay. I'll um, put, like, the guy's name here. And then... Um, I figured since Cad is one of my absolute favorite Star Wars characters, I would go a little bit extra and give him this awesome wired coat just to, you know, make him feel a little bit more deluxe. So I was thinking that maybe I'll remove the arms from both of these figures, remove the shoulder pads, and then we'll put this on because I, I'm not really sure about having like double of these like coat folds and then uh, I'll switch the hands as well. So um, yeah, we'll heat up the arms and see how that works out. So I heated up the arms and hopefully I can just pull these out. I'm not really sure, but I... Uh, <clears throat> oh, okay, okay, so it's just a pull. It's just a straight pull. So we'll just do that with the other one. So I hope the original figure is just as easy to sew. Here goes nothing. I'm really, really scared of these cables like snapping. But it looks to be the exact same joint. Ooh! Okay, that was a tad scary, but it worked out. Man, it would just suck if the arm, like, just tore off completely during this last one. But thankfully, the gods are smiling upon us. So, uh, where are the other arms? Here they are. F force them in like so. And, oops. Okay, so we got both arms on. I removed this. Oops. Wow, I have no idea where that shoulder pad went. But anyway, uh, you can just kind of like pull them out of their little sockets like this. And now, before we uh, put the coat on, we're going to remove the hands. Because um, the other ones have better paint detailing. Because they actually have the his blue skin showing on his fingers. Same here. Hands heated up. And we just pull them out. So the less interesting thing will be just the uh, the Bad Batch Cad Bane with the, the Clone Wars coat. And we can just kind of force that on, like... That doesn't look too bad at all. And then you can put the hat on. That actually does look pretty sick, not gonna lie. Hmm. But... I think I am a little bit more of a sucker for the Clone Wars look. So let's get to the main event then and uh, put the coat on. Shouldn't be too difficult, I hope. Oh, it kind of like folds itself when it lays correctly. That's nice. Like, this side is right, but this one is being a little bit temperamental. Oh, there we go. I think you should just fold this top bit a little bit more. And the breathing apparatus kind of pushes it down. So that looks pretty good, I would say. A little bit heavy up here, maybe. Oh yeah, but uh, the satchel... It's also going to push everything down a bit, I think. There we go. I'd say this looks really, really good. I might give it, like, a little dust of paint just to get rid of this, like, brand new look. But overall, I think this looks really, really good. I think just, like, a light dry brush of kind of, like, some of this beige... So I'm just gonna like dust on the um, the paint. This would also give it a bit more depth. So now I've darkened the coat quite a bit, but uh, we're gonna add some Ushabti bone and just 
dirting up the coat. The Shepti Bone is quite a b lot brighter than the, the dark brown, so this is gonna make way more of a noticeable difference. So here he is completed, well, I mean the coat completed, and th I think this looks fantastic. I used quite a lot of a shabti bone to just wear down this sort of like flat brown color, and I think it really helps with uh, adding a more like gritty, realistic tone when um, when all the colors are a bit like uneven and speckly, and uh, it, it, I mean, it just looks very worn now, and I think it matches the texture of the hat decently well. So yeah, this is the modified coat from eBay and I could not be happier with how it looks. I think it looks absolutely fantastic and you can have him in like cool coat blowing in the wind type poses now and and you know, it's, it's just such a nice little treat. So oh yeah, and if you're interested in this guy, he's up on my eBay now, so I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in a bit. I've taken down so many clones over the years. Once you figure out one, the rest are easy.